Astrotometry Log, it's 1941 UTC on April 10th, 2010. I wanted to try to engage the group mind on working with this um, particular forecast. I thought this would be a good way to try to um, um, get the information out and um, possibly um, get someone to replace me at doing this. I, while I'm really good at the theoretical parts of it, a lot of the stuff that involves the repetitive, repetitive tasks and stuff like that, I'm not very good at. And so I'm, I'm suspecting it won't be too long before somebody bests me at doing um, the actual forecasts. And I wanted to use these two uh, coronal holes um, that are that are forming now as um, uh, a sort of ground for that. This is uh, the 195 angstrom uh, EIT movie from the Soho site. And you can see there's a hole here um, that we're seeing some foreshocks from right now. And then there's another one, that a big one that forms here. So this is going to be a fairly serious, um, potentially serious quake in the southern hemisphere. And there's several foreshocks from it. So we, we can kind of figure out sort of the regions where it's most probable. But I'm not sure exactly, and I wanted to uh, see if someone else has uh, thoughts on this or if, if they see um, um, a way to do this that I'm not seeing. Um, the four shocks that I've seen so far are in the area um, in western uh, South America down by Chile again. And so it's I think from most po probable that this is going to be a quake that is either in this area or maybe a little farther north up here in Chile. These are um, the more recent ones in, in, in orange here. It's also possible that it's out here off the shore. Um, but when I look at this, the way I uh, analyze it is I try to look for uh, dark and light patterns that would indicate whether or not it's near uh, water. Because in these images, uh, the theory is that the water movement shows up more significantly than does the land movement sometimes. And so uh, sometimes when you see a, an event, if it's near uh, a shore, you can see like th this was this was movement off of North America from the fast past forecast. And you can see that there's a big difference between the, uh, the the darkness of the hole over here than over here. Over here it's very dark and sort of uh, the, there's, a, there's a line where the, uh, the coast um, uh, kind of creates this, this drop off on the, the contrast. The contrast is very low on the, on the water side and very high on the land side. And I think I'm seeing the same thing here um, indicating that this bigger uh, this bigger event um, right there is going to produce some water movement over here and that would indicate that it is near uh, the coast. Um, sometimes when you just see um, a, uh, a hole with very sharp edges on it all around, that is inland and it doesn't really move much water. And so I'm suspecting though that this is near near coast, uh, but the other issue is that there is another island region um, that could be involved here. The um, Tonga region is also experiencing some uh, quakes right now. And there was just a 5.9 in Fiji today. And this could be both regions. It could be both regions are going to experience uh, some more major activity and that these are the foreshadows that we're seeing here. Um, and so this, um, <clears throat> this is something that I, I would very much like to get more eyes on. And so I'll go ahead and link the, the SOHO site and um, the Google Earth KLM uh, in the uh, comments area. Uh, you can download Google Earth, get the USGS uh, Earthquakes KLM, and um, you would uh, more easily be able to see the the sort of hyper, what I call the hypersymmetry, the, the time-space differentiated symmetry between the uh, sun and the earth as it relates to the magnetic fields that, that connect both of them. And so um, 
that's the current dogma. And the, also, I'll, I'll mention that the time of day uh, in, the current, in the current model has something to do with the north-south latitude as we move away from the uh, equinox. During the equinox, the, the uh, equator of the sun and the equator of the earth are aligned and towards the solstices, those equators um, are not aligned. And so depending on what time of day it is, according to the current dogma of the theory, uh, there might be a difference in the uh, magnetic field alignments. There's another site that I know of that has uh, more detailed uh, field analysis of the Earth. Um, I'll uh, link that in the comments as well, but it's a lot more challenging. And so I've, I've not tried to get into the, did get into that yet, but there are inconsistencies in the sun's field based on these spots. And these inconsistencies may, according to the theory, um, change the, uh, the location, the timing, and the time spacing of the uh, events. They, they can be stretched out in time uh, because of these sort of warps in the, the magnetic field. And so I'll go ahead and link that one also in the comments. It would be great to get uh, some more eyes on this. Also, I'm going to uh, put the PayPal account email address here. Um, if you go to paypal.com, um, choose um, uh, pay, uh, choose to pay, put this email address in. You can um, choose a, a gift. There's like two options. Um, if you just choose gift, uh, rather than products and services, I think is is the other is the other option. I'd really appreciate any support on this. I'm I'd really much rather be spending my time uh, doing this these forecasts rather than trying to spend my time fundraising. And so um, any help there would be uh, greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.